Hey everyone, welcome to D20 Woodworking and today for Path of Carcosa we're doing Scenario 7 Black Stars Rise. Now to remind you what happened last game, uh, we ran around some catacombs and once again, you guessed it, a ton of enemies popped up. Now I also got some really bad uh, pulls from the Chaos Bag, it really didn't help, but yeah, we just had some bad luck. We separated our investigators again. Unfortunately, it was probably not the way to go. Um, I didn't really mean to, but an enemy got between us and then it just kind of you know, fell apart from there. So anyway, uh, I still hope you enjoyed this playthrough. If you could do me a huge favor, you know, hit the like button, hit subscribe. It really helps the channel out and leave a comment down below. Let me know. Um, let me know what you're thinking about this uh, campaign so far. And if you want to see more campaigns, if I, if I should be doing more Arkham Horror stuff, let me down. Uh, let me know down below. Here we go. Black Stars Rise. Scenario seven, man. We're, we're cranking through this game. So it's it's nice to, to be moving along here. Um, all right. So the island commune of Mount St. Mitchell lies off the west northwestern uh, coast of France. It is beautiful, elegant, and enag enigma enigmatic. Hmm. A place of a fairy tale. Only this tale is one of horrors and madness. During low tide, you would be able to reach the island on foot by crossing the tidal causeway that emerges from the sea. However, by the time you reach the coast, the tide is much higher than you'd, you'd anticipate. Dark clouds cover the sky and a distant crash of thunder signals the start of an oncoming storm. You find a boat whose captain is willing to take you on the island and prepare for the ritual to come. Check the campaign log. If Ashley Clark is listed under VIPs interviewed, proceed to Ashley. Um, let's see if I did. Hey, Austin, how you doing, man? How's it going? Interviewed. We did interview Ashley. Okay, cool. All right. You recall the night where this all began and your thoughts drift to the mesmerizing song Ashley sang that night. Somehow you remember the lyrics perfectly after all this time and it's haunting melodies ingrained in your mind. Above the city, the storm clouds rage and the waves crash through the gilded cage. Below the earth, the salt water uh, seeps. The shadows fall as the red sun sleeps. Suddenly, the island that lies before you illuminated by flashes of lightning and assaulted by tumultuous waves. You can't help but wonder if Ashley was singing about this very moment. During this scenario, you can trigger a squiggly line ability as investigators may remove one doom from the agenda in play. We could do it once per game. Interesting. So we can remove one doom one time. Your boat docks at Port de la Aveche, uh, but with the rising tide and torrent rain flooding the street, the boat's captain isn't keen on sticking around. He tells you he'll come back for you in the morning. He won't. You tell him not to bother. Oh, okay. You probably won't be around by then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the game knows how I've been playing, which is not good. The investigators spend one clue per investigator. As a group, place one doom on this agenda. This effect can cause this agenda to advance. Each investigator gains two resources. So I can gain more resources if I put agenda uh, stuff on there. All right, 1C. The ritual begins. Dark storm clouds swirl overhead. A vortex of eldritch uh, energy rages in the center of the storm. The ritual has begun. The gate may appear above the abbey or below it. You must choose which route to pursue and reach the gate before Hester's agents do. Uh, again, we can spend clues to put one um, doom on here, and it allows us to draw a card. So, brought them to play my version of X Bones. <laughs> Love it. All right, so let us shuffle up. Okay, that's cool. Let us shuffle up and uh, get started. Oh, I guess I should also mention too, really quick, that. Joe Diamond has three mental health removed already right off the bat. So he's down to three starting off, which is going to go pretty poorly. And Stella's at five because we've lost a lot of mental capabilities those, these last few rounds. So one, two, three, four, five. Draw a five. All right. No weakness. So Steadfast. Um, steadfast doesn't work for us anymore because we don't have a total of five or more remaining health and sanity. I assume that's of each, um, but I don't know. So I'm going to get rid of both of them. Resources will keep, death will keep, I also have higher education as a permanent, so that's in there. Um, we'll keep flashlight. So we'll draw two, one, oh my gosh. This is such a bad draw again. I'm having inc inc incredibly bad draws with Joe because all of his weapons, I mean, there's like three or four weapons in here. Where are they? 
one at the bottom. There's this cold. There's a machine. Yeah, a bunch of them near the top. <sighs> We're having a hard time with Joe. Joe has not been good to us. I feel like he can be such a good hero. And I just haven't been good with him yet. All right, hopefully I shuffled all the cards I need on top there. All right, let's go to Stella. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, there's Man Palad Mask. So I'll draw back up. Put death in play because you drew it. Yes. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right, we drew Lost Soul. All right. Thank you for catching that. I guess I don't draw that back up, right? That just when the game oh when the game begins. Okay, cool. Alright, so rabbit's foot, unexpected courage, look what I found, track shoes, and emergency cash. I'm gonna get rid of emergency cash. Probably look what I found. I feel like I need weapons. Granny. And the other pair of track shoes. Alright, whatever. Whatever. Alright, so yeah, we got death in for free, which is pretty sweet. And, uh, I think that's it. I think that's it. Oh, I gotta read Port de la So, this gateway serves as an entrance to the Grand Rue during high tide when a boat is the only means of reaching the city. Okay. So, let's flip it over. Uh, three shroud and one, two clues on it. Now, we can spend two uh, actions to move one Doom from one agenda deck to the other. Then place two clue, uh, clues on this. Which could be interesting. So, alright, let's start with Joe. So, he's able to quest for four. All right, so let's do five, right? So we do four, I'm sorry, four, five, we'll do six with Eureka. So if this skill test is successful, the performing uh, this skill test, we search the top three cards of his deck for a card, draws it and shuffles his or her deck. So I'm gonna go against three shroud on this, right? We're gonna look for a clue here. Oh my God, minus four. Hold on, five, six. Yeah, we failed. This is just my lock, man. All right, so that was a waste of Eureka. Oh, I forgot to put this card face up. Uh, choose the investigator location. The investigator searches the top, draws it, and shuffles his deck. Um, okay. Our right, next thing is we're going to actually use Eureka. We're going to choose myself. And we're going to search the top six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need a gun. There is no gun. All right, we're going to draw the beat cop. We can shuffle that. And now this goes into our discard pile instead of like the the hunch discard pile, right? There's no such thing there. Um, all right, so now with my last action, I'm actually going to put beat cop in the play because I feel like I need some foreign defense with Joe. <laughs> and just, I, I want the plus one attack too. So, all right. That's the end of that. Let's go to Stella. Um, I don't even know what to do with Stella. Oh, actually, first thing we're going to do is put in Rabbit's Foot, right? That's always good to put in right away because, you know, the whole idea is we want to fail with her. So we have two book. Let's test four book to try to get one of these clues, right? Four against three shroud. Let's hope for the best here. Uh, no, we fail. But since we fail, we get our action back. We can exhaust this to draw a card. Uh, drawing thin. When you initiate a skill test, exhausting uh, exhaust drawing thin. Increase the difficulty by two. Gain two resources and one card. Which could be interesting, right? So for an action, we're going to put drawing thin in. It's an asset. We're going to test again. And I actually want to fail because I want the resources. And I want to draw a card. So we're testing my two against three. The only way we win is with a plus one. Uh, shoot skull. I'm going to do my ninja, which is zero, so that's fine. So I failed, so I do get two resources, which is nice. Um, actually, we can just flip that over. 
And then we draw a card, which is a Derringer, which is actually really good. Um, that's a good draw. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, all right. I think that's everything. So there are no enemies out in play. So nothing happens there. Um, so now we ready up. So Joe gets a resource. Gets his card. Dr. Mill and Christopher. That's fine. Stella readies up. She gets another resource. Um, Rabbit's foot readies up. And we draw old key ring, which could be good, but we're still going to play a Derringer instead. Um, so that's that. And then we... Um... Oh, shoot. Hold on one second. Give me one second. You pick between the two? Oh yeah, that's all right. I'm taking away two resources then. Thank you. I thought I said both. Okay, so yes, drawing thin is you gain two resources or draw one card. I'm drawing a card. That was the more valuable thing, and I'm getting rid of two resources. So simple enough. Um, okay, cool. So we ready it up. We're all good. Doom counter on each one. Perfect. And then a uh, back card for Joe. <sighs> okay. He gets Wizard of the Order. So it spawns at an empty location. And he gets Retaliate. Um, okay. At the end of the Mythos phase, place one Doom. I'm going to put him right above us because we probably actually want to fight him. Because if he's going to keep getting Doom, that's going to kind of screw us up, right? So I'm going to put him right above us. So hopefully we can attack him uh, probably next round. So that's that's Joe. We'll go with Stella next. Uh, place one doing the current agenda. And this could cause us to advance, but it's not going to. So each one gets one. Um, okay, so we could do a free action or remove one Doom if we wanted to at this point. Probably not going to though. Not yet at least. All right. So... Let's start with Joe. Do we test book again? Actually, what we're going to do is put our flashlight in play. That costs two resources. Uh, we get what? Three uses? Yeah, three uses out of it. One, two, three. Okay. So we're going to use one, spend one supply. Uh, we get minus two shroud there. Easy enough. All right, so we're at minus three. So I think we succeed, right? Because we have five minus one. That brings us down to two. We're good. So we get one of the clues there, which is sweet. Um, I'm just going to try it straight up. I'm going to actually throw away Dr. Uh, Mill and Christopher. So we're doing six against three. What's that? Minus two. We do not fail. So we succeed on that. All right, cool. That was, that was, that felt decent. So do we want to go attack? Well, no, he's got an attack of four. Stella probably can't handle that yet. Because we need the gun. Because we can shoot him. So first thing we're going to do is play the Derringer for two. Uh, that comes in with three ammo. And uh, basically, we get plus two fight, and we deal one damage for the attack. If you fail, place one ammo back on it, and next time you trigger this ability, you get one additional attack for it. Um, all right, so next move is we're going to go up to here, right? So Grand Rue, uh, Mount St. Michael's main road courses around the abbey, lined with shops and homes for fishermen and farmers. So force, after you succeed at a skill test by one or less while investigating Grand Rue, place one doom on the agenda with the most doom. If they're tied... Choose one to place Doom on. Ooh. All right. So we have to succeed by a decent amount on there. But did you, did you put Doom on the wizard? Um. No. I don't think you're supposed to yet. 
because you only do it at the oh at the end of the mythos yep yep i thought it was the beginning yep good call all right so two goes on there and i am now um attacking the wizard of the order so we are gonna try to do an attack and we're gonna use the derringer okay so we have a three four five against his four um do we have a fist icon we do not so that's always a good sign so he has retaliate which could hurt a little bit but that's okay so five against his four all right so we fail but this is important because we're one he's gonna retaliate and just does one damage to us that's okay we get an action back this does not lose the ammo and we'll get plus one attack and then we can exhaust the rabbit's foot to take take heart Right, we don't want it to fail. Okay, cool. All right. Hey, Beast. No, how you doing, man? How's it going? So now we can do the same thing again with the Derringer, but we get five, six against the four. So we just need to land the one hit. So six against four. Plus one. Give it to me. Okay. So it's now uh, ammo. Make sure we get rid of that. Uh, we do plus one damage, so it's two damage total we're doing, which gets rid of this doom and gets rid of the Wizard of the Order, which is... <sighs> that was close. That's what we needed, though. That's what we needed. So, I think we're all set, then. I think we're all set. Which is nice, because this is back down to 2-2 two -two instead of 3-3 three -three because of the Wizard. Okay, so there are no more enemies now in play. Uh, so we ready up. So ready up, Joe. He gets one, draws a card, Unexpected Courage. I forgot to turn this over, of course. We're just going to turn it over now, so I stopped forgetting. All right, ready up everything there. And ready this up. And, oh no, the man in the pallet mask. All right, so he spawns furthest from us. He's going to be at the church. That's the furthest from us. Because everything else is right there, so. That is that. All right, so Mythos Phase, everything gets one. Out of five, so we're still doing okay. Joe gets his bad card. Uh, Spires of Carcosa. Attached to your location and place two Doom in that location. Oh, no. If there's no Doom on attached location, discard Spires. Okay. Um, okay. If you succeed... All right, so we have to investigate to remove Doom, basically, now is where we're stuck. The OG unexpected. I know that's that's the good one. I have both of them mixed in here. Okay, so that was Joe's. We have to worry about this because this will advance next round, right? Not right now. So we will do it now with Stella. Place one Doom on the current agenda. This effect can cause the agenda to advance. Uh, that advances now, right? Because this is at four, but now we're counting this, which is at six. Stinks. This takes a lot. So, Ancient Evils messes this up. Uh, we clear everything, right? I think you're supposed to check one, then check the other. Which is fine. We can start with 1A. Um, guess what? It clears. <sighs> okay. So, the tide continues to rise rapidly. The outer walls of the village assaulted by hurricane force winds and freezing rain. The storm only grows in intensity as the evening turns to night. Soon, the tide water will completely flood the city. Oh, no. Shuffle the encounter discard pile and both set aside copies of Tidal Terror into the encounter deck. Let's look up Tidal Terror. Alright, there's two Tidal Terrors. So we shuffle that in. With the with the thing. Um Agenda 1C has three or more doom on it. Mark one doubt in your campaign. I guess one happens than the other, so I, I think that's what it said. So I do mark the doubt in my campaign. Which is probably not ideal. Alright, so this... I think this clears though, right? These two up here, I'm pretty sure they do. So let the storm rage. The angry sea continues to barrage the island. Waves crash against the walls and rain pelts. And rain pelts the rooftop. Is the rising sea the key to opening the path? If so, you have no choice but to let the storm rage on. Each copy of Ancient Evils gains surge. Oh, no. Okay. And then we clear this out. Title Terror doesn't sound good. 
Alright, um, so the other side of this states, As the vortex grows in size and force, so does too its pull on reality. Debris and rubble start to float upwards, pulled into a terrible void. A thunderous clash shakes the island to its very core. Soon the whole city um, will be destroyed by the milestorm. Shuffle the encounter discard pile on both sides of a rift seeker into the agenda. Spires lose the doom, I think. I think so too. I think so too. All right, Rift Seeker. Now get shuffled. Um, one A is not the current one. We don't add doubt or conviction, so that's something. Okay, so two C. Uh, the whirlwind over the island continues to rage. Binding flashes of lightning and uh, deafening thunder assaults your senses. Is this the vortex above the key to the opening to the path? If so, you have no choice but to beckon the enti the entity closer. Each monster gains plus one fight. Do we just want to survive? Right? That's kind of what it's feeling like right now. Right? Like, if we just survive to the end, we're good. Hmm. Alright. Uh, Beast No. Arkham has got to be getting under your skin. You've been playing a lot as recent or a lot lately. I like the variety. Uh, yeah, I'm ready to be done. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. I'm ready to be done. Just because of how poorly the last two ones went. Okay, so, um, as pointed out by chat, Spires or Carcosa should get thrown out now because it has no doom. Um, so we're doing it at the very end because we're clearing everything off at the end. I don't know if that's the right timing. Maybe it gets shuffled back in, but I need all the help I can get right now, so that's what we're doing. All right, so that was, uh, oh, that was the bad card, right? That was her bad card, if I remember correctly. Uh, Stella's, because his was the spires hers was the thing that advanced the doom so that that's why we got where we are today so all right joe's turn what is this card uh play only if you have at least one clue i do choose an investigator at the location that investigator heals two horror or discards a terror card from his or her threat area well i can't heal any horror because even though it's down by three i think my max is now three so that's what it is so first move we're gonna do is actually just move up here so we need to succeed this skill test by more than one, right? By at least two. So we're going to test. What is that? Five? We're going to test five against one. We got plus one. Okay. All right. So we got that. Um, we're probably going to actually want to do this to start advancing this stuff, right? Because I feel like that's what it wants us to do. So let's use our next thing. We're gonna get that next clue too. And then we're gonna do Diamond's Edge favorite thing. Your max Sandy. Oh, no, you just start with three less, so it can go up by three. Is that how that works? So I can still go up to six? Maybe that's worth healing. I might, then I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna, okay, for my last action, I'm not gonna get that clue. Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought it meant your max was down, but that, that's awesome. So I'm going to do this card instead and heal two horror. So one, two, get myself back up to five. It gives me a little bit of a cushion. I feel a little bit better. And then this way, this gives Stella something to do. Because, you know, she needs something to do. So first thing we'll do with Stella is put Granny Ore in. What's she for? So she's in. So at least we have a little bit of buffer there. Um, so let's test two book. We're going to test two book against one. And I'm actually going to play take heart. I, that certainly fails. Is the amount of do? Oh no, I succeeded. So take heart was wasted. So I actually succeeded, but 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 uh, I succeeded by one. So place one doom on the agenda with the most doom. If not, we choose which one. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick the storm's rage. I think. I don't know. That seems to make sense. Um, but what I will do is use all my clues to move the move the stuff along right so i'm going to do one do one each so one in, uh, clue per investigate which is two as a group place one doom on this agenda 
Each investigator gains two resources. So he gains two, so he's up to three. That's one, two. Then with this one, it's just one. Uh, each investigator draws a card. Don't be a weakness. Oh my god. Put self center in your threat area. You cannot commit cards to other investigators, test or affect other investigators. Oh, actually, that's not too bad, right? That that doesn't really affect us too much. Because I've yet to do that. <laughs> and unexpected courage, new art. Alright, cool. Oh, she still has one turn. Um, all right, so let's move. I don't know. Let's move to this outer wall. Let's see what this outer wall is, is all about. The outer wall of the city defends it from the wrath of the tides and also conquering invaders. After one or more doom is placed on a agenda deck, which is the top one, uh, each investigator in the outer wall takes one damage. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's going to be Stella. All right, so four clues are going to go on there. Two, three, four. All right, sweet. Um, all right, I missed some of the stuff he's has said. I catch up on champions. I still have the entire expansion. I haven't played, barely played um, Guardians and um, MTS. Love Lord, love Lord of the Rings. The new cards with that makes sense. Chairman Xbox controller. <laughs> That's funny. Um, plus, I may have to stop buying cards to save the baby. That makes sense. You should probably do that. Catch up and then get behind again. You will forever be behind. You'll never catch up. That's how they get you. But yeah, do Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings is really fun. I agree. Okay. And yeah, Marvel Champions. I mean, that's always... Everyone has fun with that one. Okay. So there are no enemies. Well, this one's aloof, right? So that one does nothing. Um, so now we refresh. Joe gets a resource and oh, our cult. Our cult 19s. Oh, it's dual handed. Do I have any hands? Oh, we're getting rid of a flashlight. That's what we're doing. We're throwing that flashlight away. So Joe Diamond deck only uses four ammo. Up to tool, two tool assets you control do not take up hand slots. Oh, that's a tool. Okay, cool. So spend one ammo and we get to do tons of stuff. Ah, so nice. So nice. And that's that. And Stella goes up to three resources. And our Kern is... Oh, good. Our treachery. Check the campaign log. If you have more equal doubt than conviction... Hold on, wait. I had one doubt that I didn't log yet. So we have currently... We currently have one doubt and three conviction. We just got another one. So we have three conviction, two doubt right now. So we have more conviction than doubt. Test X head where X is your book. If you fail, take two damage. Okay, so we, our book is two. Our head is four. So four against two. Oh my God, we failed. Take two damage. One, two. All right, down to five life. And then that, I guess that just gets thrown out. So that's something. Okay. So that's that. Now we have to put uh, Doom tokens on, right? So one. Oops. This one doesn't get another one. Shoot. I forgot I was one behind. All right. Bad card for Joe. It's an it's an enemy. So each monster, which is this, gets plus one fight. So remember that. Uh, spawn at Port de la Vie or Chapel at St. Oh, wait. Where's the Chapel at St. Chapel of St. All right, so we don't have the chapel yet. So we're going to spawn him here because he's going to start hunting us. And we're going to have to shoot him with some Colt 1911s, that's for sure. All right, so next is uh, Stella. We test three head. If you fail, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, so we have four against three. I'm going to throw out Unexpected Courage. I really don't want to lose this. So four, five, six against three. Okay, we, we succeeded. Didn't need to do that, but that's okay. All right, cool. Now it is our turn. So, oh, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, one or more doom is placed on the A agenda deck. Each investigator at our wall takes one damage. I almost forgot, but we got, we got there. 
So we're probably going to move her soon. Probably. All right, first thing we'll do with Joe. Oops. Is play our cult. Our cult guns, right? So that costs all of our resources. And we get four ammo tokens on it. Now, we could still have up to tool assets you control. Do not take up hand slots. And the flashlight is a tool, which is weird to say. But so we don't have to worry about that. So that's, that's nice at least. So. Do we go down and engage this title terror and start hitting it? Or do we move and help with the outer wall? Actually, I think we're going to move and help with the outer wall. We'll let it chase us a little bit. That's fine. So let me quest on this. It's got two against my five. So five against two. What the heck is this? Minus two. We did not fail. So we succeeded. So good. All right. So now Stella can go. Oh, we should. First thing we should probably do is play the old key rings, though. Uh, let me move these over. If we play the old key rings, we can lower the shroud because we only have two buck and then we can't fail. So let's, let's spend one resource and we'll still end up taking the damage, but that's okay. Um, oh wait, wait, that's not what we're doing. What we're doing? Putting two keys on. That's what we're doing. All right, so first thing we'll do is we'll test for the key ring. It's minus two strats. So it's at zero, so we really can't fail this except for auto fail, I think. Okay. Well, luckily, since we failed, I get my action back. I don't lose a key. Um, I can exhaust this to draw a card for another drawing thing, which is useless to me right now. Okay, let's use old key ring again to give it minus two shroud. Certainly, we won't draw auto fail twice, right? By minus three. So, it's zero, zero, right? So, we succeeded, essentially. And then, um, let's do it one more time. Old key ring again. Uh, minus two. We don't fail, right? Because it's zero, zero. Um, so that's that, but we lose the old key ring. And that's everything. So the enemy now goes, it's a hunter. So it's going to move up here, which is fine. Then we ready up and I forgot to do this again. Jesus. All right. I'm just going to start with this flipped up. We'll get our card magnifying glass. Already Stella. Maybe that's what I'm doing so bad with Joe. I keep forgetting to flip over his hunch deck. Take heart. Yeah, because this is going to let me discover a clue right off the bat. So that's nice. Okay, so Mythos phase. Put one on there. One on there. When we did that, though, each investigator takes one damage. Um, Stella's hurt a bit. So we have to figure that out. We're going to let her start running, though. Okay. So that's that. Now we take Joe's back guard. Spawn of Holly. Most horror. Uh, they're tied. Retaliate after you successfully invade spawn of Holly by two or less. Take one damage. Okay, so Holly is now attacking me, which is not ideal. And now bad card for Stella. Peril. Test two head. All right, so I have four. Four against two. Four against two. Okay, we succeed. Oh, shoot. Hold on, I'm sorry. If the man in the pallet mask is in play, which he is, I didn't see this bottom line. Horror dealt by this effect is considered direct horror, and this test has uh, two plus different. Okay, so it's actually a four. Did not realize that. Oh, this ready's up as well. Um. Okay, so we it's a four against a four. I'm gonna play take heart. We're gonna fail this, right? So four against a four. Oh my God. We actually succeeded, which I guess is good. Um, 
but take heart once again gets wasted. <laughs> okay, so that's that's everything. Now it's my turn. All right, I'm now gonna do working a hunch. It's a fast play. Only during your turn, discover one clue at your location. Done. Easy. Now. Oh wait, wait, wait. I have to fight the spawn of Holly. Shoot, shoot. My bad. I forgot I was doing that. I'm gonna fight this thing first. All right. So, first thing we're gonna do is spend one ammo to fight. You get plus one fist and deal one attack for this damage. If this attack defeats an enemy, you may move an insight event from your discard pile to the bottom of your hunch deck. Okay. So our fight is now five, six against a five. Ooh. Because it gets plus one from this. And I'm going to have to take hard if I succeed by two or less. All right, well, we got to go for it. So let's spend one ammo. Do we have an attack card? We have an unexpected courage, which I'm going to use, right? I, I need to succeed on this. So five, six, seven, eight. Oh, no, six against four. Okay, six against four we can do. We can do. Six against four. Is the highest amount of doom in play? There are just four, so we fail. Does it have retaliate? It does have retaliate. One damage and two. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what to do with this. Because of fast. Oh, okay. Then I guess we could we could just do that so we just get the clue. Um <sighs> I mean we got we gotta try it again, I guess. So let's go again. We're gonna attack it again. Hope for the best. Minus two. So minus two against our four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, we succeeded by one, which means we take one horror, but we do two damage. Ugh. And then next one, we're gonna do this again. We have, we have to land this hit. I mean, there's just no other way about it. We have to hit this. If we don't show diamond, well, beat cop actually will we'll get bit. So, hey, Karakai, how are you? Okay, so we're doing an ammo. Shoot, I think uh, I didn't do an ammo count that time. I should do it again. Minus one. I think we succeed, but we take a horror. Um, so, that's plus one. Plus one is six. That's a five. We do succeed. We do two damage, which knocks out the spawn. We... Hold on, wait, wait. We take one horror, though. So we're not doing great on that. We do take an insight event from your discard pile and put the bomb in your hunch deck. I'm going to take the one as the logical reasoning. <laughs> so I can heal two horror, hopefully, in the future. <laughs> All right. That's... That's Joe. He's struggling, man. He's struggling. Uh, that's why I don't like about Arkham. Doesn't matter what you do. You're always at the mercy of the chaos token. Yeah, it can be really rough. Oh, yeah, I guess we could have done that. Can you assign that one horror onto the B cop? That take one horror? Because I... if so, I'll put one on B cop and put another one on myself. <laughs> okay. So, Stella. Stella, Stella, Stella. Actually, first let's do. 
let's advance some agendas, right? So let's do two clues to advance this one by one, which gives us each two resources. So that gets it to three. It ain't direct. Okay, cool. Four, five. So let me really quick back this up. I'm going to take one here and put one on Beacon. We're going to use Stella's two clues. Stella. And I'm actually going to let the storm rage, right? I feel like the entity above is a worse thing. Well, no, I kind of need a card. So I'm going to, I'm going to use that one. So he draws a card inquiring mind. Interesting. And, um, she draws one. It's another Derringer, which is fine. Okay. The question is. The monster is coming if, if Stella... Well, so the monster will go to whomever I choose, right? Because I could leave here, but he's still going to come attack Stella if I choose to. Right? Because it doesn't say it's a prey. It just says it spawns and just says it hunts. And this... These two places connect. So I can just have him go that way. Um, or I'm sorry, have Stella go this way and have Tidal Terror follow her. Which is probably what I'm gonna do and take out Granny Ore. Just to start getting some more clues. I think I think that's what I'm gonna do. And he's gonna be taking the damage. Oh wait, I have to take a damage. Shoot. Okay. We're gonna back up just slightly. Joe's gonna take a damage. I'm gonna move here first and then do this thing. Alright, act one or more doom is placed on C agenda deck. Each of uh takes one horror. Oh my god. Okay. One, two, three. Now I put Doom onto Agenda A. It makes no difference in the long run because uh, Agenda uh, Agenda A was just for resources and I didn't even use any yet. So, okay. Now I'm up there. So, it's a two shroud. It's a two shroud. And I have two book. And I'm probably going to fail. Oh, and I, I use an action. All right. So I should probably just get ready for the attack that is coming up. Um, so let's exhaust drawing then. That test is now going to be a four. Four against two. I failed. Yeah, I've obviously failed. Um, so we gain two resources or draw one card. I'm going to draw a card. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. We got our a better lucky. I'm also going to exhaust Rabbit's Foot to draw another card. Now, by failing, we also get an action back and I get my other lucky. Um, okay, this is kind of interesting now. So I'm, I think I'm going to play the one lucky. No, I'm going to play this lucky. Yeah, we're going to play this lucky. So I'm going to play this lucky. I get plus three for a test and I draw a card. So I'm going to draw a card. Neither rain nor snow. Okay, cool. So I'm now doing five book against two for North Tower. Uh, highest amount of doom. Oh my God, it's five. So I failed. So that was a waste of lucky, which stinks a lot. I'm going to hold on to neither rain nor snow for attack. I'm going to hold on to the other lucky, I think. But we are going to start taking damage, which stinks. All right, I'm going to get the other gun in play, right? Two hands, two guns. Let's go. It's like Survivor 101. All right, so we're going to put two ammo. I'm just getting ready for Stella to get attacked. Is basically what I'm looking at here. All right, so now enemy's turn. Tidal Terror is going to come up here and take on Stella. Perfect. It's going to do a one damage and two mental. Granny Orn is going to take all of this for us. And she has passed away valiantly. Um, big fan of her, so thank you. 
All right, so we're going to ready up Joe. He draws a card, inquiring mind. Um, let me get a resource. She readies up. Her stuff readies up. And draws a card. Guts. And we get another resource. So it's up to three. So it's at four. Okay, cool. All right, so this gets six on it now. Now, when is A... What is it? A agenda takes one damage. So the B cop is actually going to take the one damage. So that works out nice. All right, let's see what this says. 2A, right? Yeah. All right, the ritual is almost complete. All that is left to find the gate and step through. Remove the remainder of this of this agenda deck from the game and replace it with a set aside Act 3A. Oh, wait, you don't go to the next agenda? What? Okay, hold on. Remove the remainder of this agenda deck from the game and replace it with the set aside Act 3A card. Oh, okay. Act 3A. Okay. Let's see. Tidewater churns around the walls of the city. Layers of reality unfold. Reflected in the depths below, you can see the twisted spires of Carcosa. You have no choice but to dive in. Uh, if each undefeated investigator is at the Chapel of St. Auburn, uh oh, which isn't there, uh, and there are no clues on it, advance. Ooh, okay, and it's now 2C gets a thing on it. Um, C gives us a horror, so she just takes it. For future reference, you play lucky after you draw a token. Do you really? Oh. You're right. You do play after you draw a token. You decide whether to play or not. That's good to know. All right. Well, that's good. Cool. Appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's a better card then. <laughs> um, all right. So we'll do Joe's bad card. Uh, if there is no doom in play, gain surge. Well, there is doom in play. Um, otherwise, test X with the amount of doom in play. So it's five against my two head. I'm going to fail. So we're just going to fail this. That's fine. Uh, minus one, we failed. Discard two cards at random from your hand. Which is fine. Fine, 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 fine. Second, third one down. Inquiring mind and a resource. Okay. Cool. Stella's bad card is... Oh, we place one Doom on the current agenda. This may advance it. Well, guess what? It's going to advance it. Uh, so this doesn't get Doom, but this one does. So 2C. Something is wrong. The Vortex must have triggered the gate by now. You reach the ritual... Uh, I'm sorry. You research this ritual to the best of your abilities, but for some reason it isn't working. Desperate, you examine your surroundings. Waves crash just uh, over the outer walls of the village, flooding the streets. Figures robed in yellow search through the streets, their hooded lamps illuminating the floodwater. Suddenly you realize your error. The vortex wasn't the key. It was the sea! That's how they get you. Spawn the set aside, okay, Beast of Alberdeen enemy at Chapel of St. Aubert. Okay, that's not in play, so I don't know why that's all of a sudden in play. Like, I feel like I messed up on that somewhere. Like, that was supposed to be in play this whole time. Let me just see one quick. Um. Oh, there was something that was randomly chosen earlier? I think I screwed up on that. Yeah, those are supposed to be in play. Oh, my bad. Okay, apparently, there were cards that were supposed to be in play. They chose early on. I don't know. So, Chapel. I'll put in the play. Okay. Like, it's cool when they do this stuff with the randomness, but I feel like it messed me up now. Which is frustrating. It's very frustrating. It's not worded very well. Okay. 
to use the verse Abbey Tower or his Abbey Tower and Chapel should be in play. They were randomly chosen. Which ones were randomly chosen? I only have one. Those were out of play. Oh, there's the beast. There's the chapel. And there's the Abbey Tower. I don't know how those are supposed to be randomly chosen because those are the only copies I have. Oh no, I guess there are more set aside up there that were thrown away. Okay. But it doesn't matter. I couldn't have gotten them to them anyway, so it's not a big deal. Um, but let's see. They the Abbey Tower, the door leading up to the Abbey Tower is locked. You cannot enter the tower unless you have found the tower key, which we have not. And the chapel, uh, the way to the chapel is hidden. You cannot find it unless you found a guide. So that's that's a good sign. Alright, so the beast of Aldebaran um is at the chapel check campaign log if ashley clark is not listed under vip slain search the collection for ashley clark and spawn her she is slain. we burned everyone so they're all slain remove this si 3c card from the game wait remove the set aside act 3c card from the game okay it's fine Advance the agenda 3C. Your objective lies within the agenda deck. The, wait, within the other agenda deck. That's fine. Okay. So the maelstrom in the sky envelops the horizon. The island starts to break into pieces. The screeches of uncanny creatures fill the air. An unholy choir pry or praying to a force beyond your comprehension. If you do not act soon, the path will forever be lost and will be forever lost and nobody will be able to prevent Hester's agents from releasing his bonds. Each enemy gets plus one. Alright, so there's eight on it. Right? Eight amount on it. Um Okay. And we have to I think we basically have to go somewhere over here to start getting into this stuff it looks like also what's this he's massive when I assign damage and horror from beast of Albert you must assign as much damage and horror as possible to a single card before assigning to another okay that's fine okay so we're probably not gonna fight that thing because it's probably gonna knock us out Chapel of St. Omer in there. Okay, so we need to clear the clues here. Okay, so we have it basically figured out what we have to do. We basically need clues. We don't want to advance decks anymore. We need to fight this thing. And we need to kind of get clues and run over here. Is, is what it seems like, right? All right, we could do this. So, Joe, we're going to have Joe go to the Broken Steps, right? Let's go over, right? Can I hop over there? Diamond. Yeah, just head straight over. So, I think Joe's going to go here because we might as well see what's going on. Everything's been kind of low with the Shroud, so I'm hoping right away we can get something there. So, Joe's going to head over to the Broken Steps. Uh, Bolts of Lightning, Silhouette. The Abbey Above, a path of long winding steps, steps lead up the hill, branching into multiple routes as you draw nearer the Abbey. After you enter Broken Steps, you must either discard an asset you control or draw the topmost cultist enemy in the encounter deck. Well, that's freaking terrible. Um, and there was no clues there. All right, let's get rid of an asset you control. Let's get rid of flashlight. Because I don't want to take on an enemy because I feel like that's just not going to be the smart move. All right, next turn we are going to go up now to the North Tower and waste an entire turn doing that. But let's quest and try to get one of those tokens on there. So we are doing five buck against two. And I'm actually going to spend a resource... So it's seven book against two. Let's go. What's that? The highest amount of, oh, which is zero. Okay, so we actually get a clue, which is cool. Okay.
All right, later, Ross. Thanks for hanging out, man. Uh, first report by Nelson Mute and Genesis pushed back. Really? Uh, it's interesting. All the moral support. All right, so now we're gonna we have to attack. That's what we have to do. So first thing we're gonna do is attack with a Derringer, right? Let's get the Derringer on board. So now we're attacking with five against five. Let's see what this is. Minus one. So what we will do is now that we learn how Lucky actually works, we will play Lucky to succeed. And we draw a, draw a card. Um, okay, so we do two damage because of the der Derringer, right? So that's now two on there. So that's pretty cool. Oh, and then I have to use the ammo. My bad. So. Let us do the Derringer again. Five against, or I'm sorry. Yeah, five against five. Uh, we drew a minus five, which is always a great sign. So, we're going to draw the rabbit's foot to draw a card. Uh, resourceful, which is fine. Um, we get our action back, and I'm going to play live and learn. So, attempt the test again. Again with the Derringer. You get plus two skill value. So, it's going to be, and with the Derringer... I don't think we do that. So we'll do the plus two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven against five. Um, and I'm gonna do right, neither rain nor snow. Right? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna do all of it. Highest amount of doom. That's zero. So that was overkill. He dead. And we lose a derringer ammo. All right. That monster is taken out. Stella dual wielding, exactly. Actually, I think one is one, but that doesn't really matter. All right, so Stella still has one action left. We only have one book. Or, or I'm sorry, two book against that. So let's do two book. Um, we're probably going to fail, right? Realistically. So... Let us um, Yeah, we're just gonna try it. I'll try it two against two. Maybe we get lucky. Give me that plus one. Ho oh, ho auto success. Give it to me Yeah, we want to succeed. I'm not I don't want to fail We could heal one damage one horror though if we failed No, let's not push our luck. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so all enemies. He doesn't move, right? No, nah, he doesn't move. All right, so one onto here. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. I have to refresh. We just shuffle that back into our hunch deck and reveal a new one. I have to do reruns before the expansion comes out. That's fine. We can do that. Oh, good. Unsolved case. Place one of your clues in the location with the highest shroud. Mm. Remove it from the game. Highest shroud. Put it here. Okay. Cool. Why not? So that was that. Uh, we get one. One. Steadfast. Cool. Stella ready. Up. Uh, yeah, plus one. Uh, okay. Resource. And then we did the one, which we already did. And then we'll do Joe Diamond back card. Attach to your location and place two Doom on that location. Not ideal. And Stella's card is if the man the Palomas is in play, he attacks each investigator in player order regardless of the current location. So it gets one mental. So oh I'm sorry. And we did one onto this, so we each take a horror. I forgot about that. So I take a horror. The B cop is going to take a horror and get knocked out. Now, Palamask Mask is going to do one horror damage because that's what he does. And Stella gets one horror damage. So we're almost done already with Joe. So Joe's got to hurry. 
All right, then it's our turn. Uh, you can show me some chip theory. Yeah, yeah. I think so. They are. I think putting um, Hoplomachus, the new one, on the boat soon. So I'm hoping I can. I'm hoping I can do that soon. But we'll see. Okay. So maybe I'll do old Hoplomachus. All right. We're now on Joe. I think I just get the clues and run. <laughs> I think that's what I do. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to do the clue test. Five against two. Zero. Success. Do another one. Five against two. Uh, we succeed. Okay, cool. As the last action, we're going to move over to the broken steps. We discard an asset we control or put the top mode. Okay. So an asset we control. Um, do we get rid of the gun? Yeah, we're going to get rid of the gun. Because we only have one ammo counter left on that. So we can get rid of our gun. That's fine. Then Stella, first turn, is going to move over the broken steps we have to uh, get rid of an asset we control i'm going to get rid of drawing thin which is probably like the best asset to get rid of then i'm going to do um skill test i like my tarot card i want it but you're right i could have done that all right two book against three shroud surely it won't fail Minus four, failed. That's cool. Two, three, four, five, six. So I have six cards. Um, all right, first thing we're, we're just gonna draw a card. Oh wait, I'm sorry, so we failed, so I can exhaust this to draw a card. Oh good, add Hypochondria to your area. You take one more, when you take one or more damage, you take one direct horror. Cool, I was hoping that this would get harder. Actually, I'm just gonna spend my next two actions to get rid of this Hypochondria. That's what we'll do. And that, that's going to be it. So, all right. No more enemies. Ready up, Joe. After you defeat an enemy, discover one clue at your location. That's fine. Um, we have one there. And Eureka. And then Stella. We're ready up. Oops. One card. Try and try again. Um, Let's see. Did you back it, Hoplo? Yeah, yeah, I backed. I backed it. I so I backed Hoplo and got everything. So I have original Hoplo, but I got the remastered version because I wanted it. I got Victorum. I got one set of metal dice. Got all the premium chips. Got all the other fun stuff with it. So yeah, I went all in on it because <laughs> I like original Hoplo. I love. I do think I want to play that sometime on stream soon. Um, because yeah, original Hoplo. I love that game so much. I think it's so much fun. So, um, but yeah, maybe we do that. The, uh, the remaster version should be a lot like the original or vice versa. Okay. So we refreshed and everything. We put one doom on. We're up to four out of eight. Bad card for Joe. Test for a book. If you fail, you must place either one doom in the current agenda or take one horror for each point you fail. Okay. We're going to. Get rid of one of these resources. So we're testing um, four, five, six, seven book against four. Seven against four. We have one. Good. We succeeded. Okay. Stella. If there's no doom in play, gain search. Otherwise, test X head with X the amount of doom in play. Oh no. That's four against three. If you fail, discard two cards from your hand. Wait, wait. We have guts and drawing thin. So, it's four against three, four, five, six. Six against four. Six against four. Highest amount of doom on an agenda in play. So, it's minus two. So, we actually succeed. Which is awesome. Okay. We're hanging in there.
know what I just realized? We can't get in here. There's not enough clues. There's actually literally no way we can win right now. Because... We currently have three clues. We have the option for a fourth. We need six clues to get in. And there's nowhere to like earn clues. Oh no, we have to go back here. But I can't move one Doom from one agenda deck to the other. It doesn't exist. So there's, there's literally nothing I can do. Am I missing something? After one or more Doom is placed on agenda A. Takes one damage. Takes one damage. Yeah, I can't. I can't go anywhere. So we haven't found a tower key. And we haven't found a guide. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm supposed to do at this point. Um... Alright, um, uh, okay, I guess, well, first we'll do Joe Diamond, right? We'll just do it and try to get, um, five against three. I'll spend the resource, so it's seven against three. Uh, six, five, four, so we got our clues. So now we have four clues. There's no other clues on the map. I can't get this one, because let's move one Doom from one agenda to the other. There is no other agenda anymore. So we can't put two tokens or two clues on there. That seems. Wait a minute. I feel like I'm missing locations. I'm vaguely remembering this now. Am I missing locations? No, set them aside outside. Yeah, I don't... I have nothing to do. I have literally nothing to do. Because I never was able to put Knight's Hall into play or Cloister. Because this act never came into play. So yeah, somehow Cloister and Knight's Hall... And show good or it never came into play. Why? I feel like something got screwed up bad in this game. Unless we just wait and wait, let me just see. Does this end? Yeah, that ends the game. Um yes, yeah, so we lost. Like there's literally nothing I can do. Somehow something got screwed up. Or I played something massively wrong, and I'm not sure what. Hold on, we we'll have, we'll have to take a, a break for a second. So, once you learn the rules, which judging by too many bones, maybe the same. Yeah. So, Habamakas is actually the easiest one to learn. Um, like straight up, it's the easiest easiest game to learn. Then probably Burn Cycle, then Too Many Bones, and then Cloud Spire is by far the hardest. Cloud Spire is insane. Okay, sort each copy of the following cards into two separate piles based on the encounter set of the reverse side, which we did. All right, we did that. And this is what we picked. I think. Flip it over each pile that only the black stars are. Alright, choose one pile random from the game. Do not look at the reverse sides. That's fine. Well, now I'm going to look at them because I don't understand what's going on. 
Okay. That was the one removed from the game. These were the agenda cards that got removed. Act 3C, I think we got rid of before. Yeah, we got rid of Act 3C. So, Santa does not have an Act deck instead of two agendas. Blah, blah, blah. Set the following cards out of play. Both Act cards, Act 3A and 3C, which I did. Beast, I did. Tile Terror, yep. Rift, yep. Cloister, Knight's Hall, Abbey Tower, which we did. Oh my god, am I missing locations? No. Put the chosen location, remove the other version of these locations. All right, show tour a random and set it aside and remove the other one from the game. North Tower. Yeah, I'm at a loss. Choose one of the two. Choose one of the two North Tower locations. Yeah. I did it. I did everything you're supposed to. I'm just out of curiosity. What happens on the side? If there are two agendas in play with different agenda numbers, Abbey Church gets plus two shroud. There's not. When it's revealed, put the set aside, Chateau, Knights Hall, Cloister, and Abbey Tower into play. Yeah, so all the other locations you put into play. But I can't get there because you have to spend six clues. So that's the end. So I guess we're, what we're going to do is just kind of rush through this um, and, and see what happens because I can't, I can't do anything. I literally can do nothing. So one, two, three, four, five. We'll do Joe Diamond for six. I guess that's cool. Seven. Draw another card. Vicious Blow. Okay. Stella. Draw a card, neither rain nor snow. We'll draw a card, guts, and then we'll draw another one, a leather coat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Enemies don't do anything. Now we ready up. Draw a card, uh, lost. I have more conviction. So test or head where our book is. There's no way we succeed. Actually, can I? Yeah, I'm gonna fail this. Take two damage. One, two. Okay. Um, Stella readies up. Get a resource. Draw a card. Granny Ore, okay. I think we have too many cards now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we're just supposed to have eight, right? So we'll get rid of the three resources. We don't need that. And this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have to shuffle that card back in and then draw another, draw another card on top. Okay. Um, that's up to five bad card test four. Um, okay. Test four book. I have five, uh, fail to, if you do, oh, we look for an enemy and draw it too. So if you fail, you must place one doom in the current agenda or take one horror for each point. We we'll have to put doom on the agenda. So that's six. We have to look for an enemy. A certain enemy, one of these enemies. We'll just put that there because that's going to kill us. And then bad card for Stella. Test three fail or three foot. So we have four. Oh, we actually succeed. Okay, cool. All right. So now it's Joe's turn. Four enemy. Or four attack. And my four attack. All right, we're going to do take the initiative with Vicious Blow. The 
so we succeed. What do we get? Uh, oh, we can move an insight card. That's nice. Do work in a hunch. Put that in the bottom. Um, so we do two damage, which is nice. Then that was our first action. Next action. I'm just going to do four against three. Oh, we actually succeeded. So that's uh, three. So he's knocked down. So we actually got rid of Rift Seeker, which is nice. But then the last time we can't really do anything. So I'm not going to bother. Um, and there's nothing that I can do with Stella. Right? There's just legit nothing. I actually could play try and try again, which is fun. So we'll do that. Yeah, um, unfortunately, it just gave you an option in which to spend investigation tokens. So I did that. And because of that, there's no other way to get them except for on this port. But you have to do it when there's two agendas. And we already got rid of one agenda. So now it's a, there's an act. So that's basically what happened. So I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to do anything. Five. I'm just going to lose, right? I'm not even going to bother. Let me just make sure none of these cards give me ways to get. No, they don't. They don't give you ways to succeed. So well, let's read this card. Uh, the Vortex consumes the Abbey of Mount St. Michael, shattering into a thousand shards of reality. Gravity holds on the island is released and debris begins to lift into the air. The lower streets of the islands are the only refuge from the angry sky, but even they will be consumed in time. The tide water, your only hope for escaping this doom, suddenly recedes and flood water seeps into the earth below. You sit at the edge of the North Tower below the Abbey and contemplate the madness all around you. I'm not even at the North Tower. <laughs> How has it come to this? Is it all... Is all this truly happening, or will you awaken in the asylum like Daniel Chesterfield, a victim of some cruel cosmic joke? Well, that doesn't sound good. That sounds like, uh... Three. <laughs> Get ready for this one. When you awaken, you are sitting in the Shero Gothic of Mount St. Michael's Abbey. No rain pelts the glass of the windows above, and you hear no thunder nor the screeching of winged horrors overhead. Somehow you had escaped the island's, island's certain doom. You creep to the door of the abbey and open it with trepidation. A dazzling light sears your eyes and you lift your hand to block the glare of two suns. You stand overlooking the lake of Holly. Black stars hang in the heavens above. Beyond, over leagues of tossing uh, cloud waves, the Tower of Kokosa rise behind the shattered moon. You met with a terrible fate, haven't you? In your campaign log, record that the realm of Carcosa merged with your own and how story rolls over both of them. Each investigator was driven insane. You have lost the campaign. Congratulations.